There's evidence that's come up well after the time of Joseph Smith indicating that yes indeed there was iron and steel. And as I did a little bit of research on this and just used some common sense too, most people know that steel is a combination of iron with carbon. And metallurgists have said, and I've gotten some records from them, that um, if you would just drop iron in the coals of a fire, that you would get some grade of steel because steel comes in all different grades from uh, just a little bit better that is harder than iron onto very hard uh, steel. Now steel is mentioned in the Bible. I haven't heard people criticizing that because in Second Samuel, David is talking about breaking a bow, a fine steel or of steel. And that's interesting because that's what we're hearing in the Book of Mormon that Nephi broke his bow of fine steel. And so I see no problem in it because they, that is the people before they came over, Lehi and his group, certainly had to know about steel. I mean, it was known about it at least until uh, King David's time because he reported on this about his bow. And that would have been about 1000 BC when that happened. They found steel also in um, areas around Palestine. There's a short sword with, a short sword with an ivory handle that was found uh, near Ekron, which is not far from Palestine, which is definitely steel. That was about 600 BC, about the time Lehi was leaving. And then uh, even an earlier one, in the 12th century, there's a, a steel pick that was found that uh, based on the Rockwell uh, indicator of steel hardness was really way up there. So it was uh, definitely a high grade of steel that was known about that far back in time. And when we're talking about um, metal, steel in this case, I guess, uh, finds after Joseph Smith were that there indeed have been gold plates found in mainly in the European area, but also in Iran. The ones I can think of offhand are in uh, Iran, Bulgaria, and Italy, where they found ancient writings on gold plates. And in one case it was on a binder like described by Joseph Smith and uh, in a stone box. And this happened well after Joseph Smith's time that it was found. Yet this was one of the main criticisms of his day. I mean, how could you have ancient writings and gold plates? I mean, that just doesn't happen.